Hello, hello. Welcome to my garage. My name is Quad, and today we are going to get busy. We are going to get busy. Okay, so basically we're gonna what we're gonna be doing is putting all these uh, old parts back on to the card. Well, they're not old. Well, they are old, but they're in good shape parts. And we can't forget about the parts that we have in the garage here. So we're gonna turn on the light. Kind of get a good idea of what we have. It looks like we have a rear end, a cross member, a couple springs. Um, what are all these front shocks? So these are all front shocks, some carrier hubs and such. Okay, so these are all Bart, Chad, and Jesse parts right here. All right, so let's go ahead and just get started. Uh, first things first, I suppose. Oh, and I noticed one thing. Uh, about this car here, we are actually missing a bad railing right here. Uh, so we're not going to worry about that, that today because that's going to take a while just to get that off. Uh, but, 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 uh, we are going to go ahead and finish. Uh, we'll, we'll get, we'll get that done once we actually get the car like on a freaking lift. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and put this seat in. Uh, let's turn our headlamp on. There we go. And yeah, yeah, this should be fun. This should be fun, right? Should it be fun? I think it will be. Okay, so we can put the gas tank in now. Indeed. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, of course, we're not going to put the engines in uh, anytime soon. Those are going in last. Uh, but we can put in this wiring harness. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, I don't think there's too much we can add to the NIV. I do know there are a couple of these half axles that need to go on but we can't really do much with that until after the fact uh so let's go ahead and head inside see what we have for the lad and niv uh so there is a differential i think we do need that okay this one definitely does not have a diff uh, but either does this one so let's go do let's just put the differential on the lad uh, let's go around the other side and put that on And, okay, there we go. Let's see what else we got in here. What does this spring go to? Rear spring. Uh, we could take this out there right away. So we could put the spring on back here. Fantastic. Uh, what else are we missing? A rear shock on this one. Now, what about fronts? We don't have any front shocks. Well, we have one. So let's go ahead and see what we have for shocks. Uh, there's a front for a lad. And here is a front for a lad. Uh, we don't need that for the lad or the carrier hubs. Nope. Okay. Well, that's about it for the lad and the NIV. Uh, these are some NIV parts over here. Let's go see if the NIV has a fuel tank, a back door, a hood, or an exhaust. Or this. Uh, we could also take this out there. So let's see. Uh, looks like our, our lad has a brake master. Uh, but the NIV does not. So we'll go ahead and add that onto the NIV. There we go. Let's get our wrench. Get it tight. Uh, this one needs a front seat and back seats. Uh, there we go. There we go. Fantastic. And does this have any interior? Holy crap, that's the plainest freaking door panel I've ever seen in my life. Okay, I can't remember what the hell was in there. Well, let's go get the seats. Uh, what do we have in here? Okay, we have a lot of seats in here, so... Well, not a lot, but we have a few. Oh, the gas tank. We were looking for the gas tank. Okay, front left, front right. Let's take one of the front rights. So, we're just going to stick that in there. Yeah, it does need a fuel tank. So, we got that too. There we go. We got a fuel tank now. Uh, let's go back in one more time. Let's look at the exhaust. Uh, we can't even hook that up yet until we have an engine, so no worries on that. Uh, does it have a hood? It does, and it has a trunk. It does. Um, we could always put that back onto our NIV as well. We need a driver's seat. Okay. So, let's just grab a driver's seat real quick right here front and left and then we also have a rocker panel for a lad and the roof uh to make a lad coupe okay and what were these uh shocks again these are just lad 
shocks. They're not even for nivs. Okay, let's put this in the niv. It's fine. It's fine. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Well, I don't care anyway. Okay. I don't care. We might take a trip to the upholstery shop, but we're going to wait until later if we, if we do, do do that anyway. Okay, let's get that put in. Okay, that should be everything. Um, yep, there's no dash. I think that's all the car parts. Fantastic. There wasn't any more axle pieces or suspension pieces for this car. Uh, the tie rods can't go in. We have all the shocks on the lad here. Okay, time to move on. We are going to start putting on parts. Uh, what, what is this? This goes to this. Let's so go ahead and start putting on all these parts piled up back here. Start with the hood. Uno doso. Okay, there we go. Okay, we got a lot of stuff going on. What does this go to? I'm not too sure. Is it the... Is it the Okay, it is. Uh, we just need to grab our screwdriver real quick. And what is this? Oh, yeah, I bought this not knowing what it went to. Uh, if you know, let me know. It's called a inner panel rear left. Anyway, uh, let's get this tightened up real quick. One and two. And what else do we got? Uh, looks like a dash. This is a quarter panel for the Jesse. The El Camino. Indeed, I do want to get an El Camino. That'll probably be my next permanent car. Um, possibly. Okay, just get out of here, will you? Come on, come on, get down, get down. There we go. Okay. Okay, what does this go to? A lad, a coupe. We might as well put this in, right? We have it. Let's put it. Uh, we just need to tighten that up. And bada bing, bada boom. Okay, what else we got? We got a front bumper. I think this goes to the El Gesso. Indeed, the El Jessamino. Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, what else do we got? We got another door, which goes to the El Camino. The El Cachesi. The El Cachado. Just kidding. Uh, what else do we got? What else do we got? We could put in the dash, I think. We could probably put in the seat. Um, I'm not sure which side it goes on. Looks like a passenger seat. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab that. Uno, doso, no. There we go. Okay, what else do we got? Ah, uh, we have all these uh, interior bits. Uh, what are those things called? Let's get these tires up on the walls, by the way. Okay, that'll work, I suppose. Uh, I do want to flip them, make sure there's no pieces on the back. Okay, here's some Bart frickin' doors. Let's get these put on. One, two, three, four. Fan freaking tastic. Here's the other one. We're gonna have to do another wash job on the insides of these doors, but that's fine. Okay, keep the door shut. Okay, let's get the hood put on. Actually, I don't think we can. We're missing that little valance valance valis. I don't know what the hell it's called, but this thing. Nope, not this thing. What is this? This is the green one. Nope, this is yellow. I think this goes on the trunk. Indeed, we're going to have to get our uh, our welder again. Uh, well, we could put the trunk on. Actually, we can't. We need to get the welder. Okay, let's put this quarter panel on. So, one, two, and three. Uh, but don't forget four and five down here. There we go. Oh, we got a bunch of trash in our hand. Let's go uh, throw this away. I forgot I collected this. Okay. Okay, that piece fell off. Let's grab our welder real quick. Uh, there's this thing, by the way. We're going to bring it out here just in case. Uh, let's stand it up, though. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's grab the welder. Um, I think these are good. So we're going to uh, reload this thing real quick. There we go. Okay, let's get it over there. Uh, and I thought I put that little yellow thing on, but... Oh, it's on the back. That's right. Okay. Let's take this to the back. And let's get this welded. I think we just have the two right here and right there. Let's just kind of peek in. Yep, yeah, it looks that way. Let's go ahead and put on the trunk. Grab our wrench. And, uh, yeah, get this bolted on. 
Uh, one, two, three, and four. Okay, okay. Okay, what do we got? We got some back seats. Uh, I think those go in... In here. Indeed. Okay, let's get those put on. One on this side. I don't know if I could reach it from here. No, we can't. And there we go. Okay. Uh, here's a green door, so let's get this put on. Driver's side, probably. Uh, there's some rust on it. Nope, it's on the passenger side. Uh, that's okay. Let's just get inside. Okay, why can't we get in? Uh, the hell kind of... What kind of junk is this? Okay, hold on. Okay, just get on, will you? Okay, there we go. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, shut that door. Okay, okay, okay. We need to find this little front end because this is not... Oh, does it go on? Oh, I thought it had a little um, valance or whatever the hell it's called. Valance, valance. Either way, it's a dumb word. Okay. Okay, uh, what is this? Door panel for the BART. This should be this one. Indeed, let's get it tight. Come on, come on, come on. Why? Why, why, just tell me. Okay, whatever. We're gonna have to go inside. Okay, there we go. Okay, what else do we got? Bunch of interior bits. Uh, here's a hood. What color is it? I think it's a green one. Indeed. Now that one we cannot put on yet. Uh, we need this here. Yeah, and then we need to weld that puppy on. So let's grab the welder. Hopefully that freaking thing will respawn uh, sooner rather than later. There we go. Let's go ahead and... Is this thing on... Let's just keep walking. Keep on walking, baby. Well, sometimes it likes to respawn and other times it doesn't. Okay, let's just go ahead and drop one of these onto the top here. Or not. And then we will grab the stupid... Ugh, of course, it disappears once I get close to it. Okay. We still have a, quite a bit of stick left. Let's go ahead and get this thing welded down. We got those two there. There. Uh, I think I saw one down there. No, I didn't. Let's look on the inside. Right there. Okay. And I feel like there was one more somewhere. Not, not for that piece, but I felt like I... Uh, never mind. The thing disappeared. Okay. It doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and put the hood on. There we go. And freaking tastic. Any more b part parts? Here's a Chad. Uh, that's a Bart. What color is this? White. It kind of matches this. So let's go ahead and put it on. Or not. Okay, let's see if we can get inside. Okay, there we go. Are you. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay. So we have. What is this? A front end? To what? that okay let's get our screwdriver again and then we'll start putting all the dashboards uh, all the bloody dashboards in right bloody from all the car accidents right uh let's see this is just for a chad uh we could put it into the green one here and let's grab the other side real quick um uh, i forgot what i was tightening okay there we go and let's grab this other dash this goes to the BART. So we'll slap that puppy in. One, two. And three, four. Beautiful. Okay. And then we have this dash here, which goes to just the Jesse. Beautiful. So we got all the dashboards, which is pretty nice, I would say. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab this one and this one. Okay. I think that's going to be it for screw jobs. Uh, let's just double check, make sure there's nothing else that can be screwed in. It doesn't appear so. I'm sure there is, but let's grab our wrench. And next up on the chopping block is we're going to go ahead and slap all these tires up here real quick. Yeah, I think this one actually has... Okay, let's get you up here. That one have it? No. One of these has the insides... Here we go. Jesus. Okay, this one does have the insides. Okay. Okay, we need to flip this thing around. Okay, will you stop it? And we're going to unbolt this. One, two, three, and four. There we go. And then we could flip this around. And same with this one. 
Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Next up, let's do some freaking leaf springs. Yes, we'll do leaf springs. We're just going to start on the Jesse uh, first. So we'll go ahead and, well, is this a leaf spring? Yeah, it is. Oh, we're missing that rail. I forgot about that. Dang it. Okay, uh, let's get this tight. Uh, maybe this side first. Okay, I don't like that. It doesn't show on this side. Oh, jeez. Okay, hold on. It's right there. Look, I could almost see it. There we go. Oh, I'm loosening because I'm an idiot. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I need this rail real quick uh, because I can't do anything else without that. Um, so we're just going to buy that. So it's a Jesse left rail. Okay, and then we'll just have to weld that on. So that's fine. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to make that jump. So let's just grab that real quick. I didn't really want to buy from this shop. Uh, but for something like that, hey, I... Hey, mate. I got some stuff that might interest you. Take a look around, all right? You got it, buddy. Uh, it's not a body, is it? It is a body. Okay. So we needed the... God dang it. What side was it? Okay, so we needed the left side. 83 bucks. Uh, it's a little bit expensive still, but it's still a lot cheaper than inside of the regular shop. Um, I would pr uh, preferably get, a, I'd rather get all these parts straight from, uh, Steve or even better. I would actually rather, rather get them from the junkyard. So I'm not too sure exactly how I'm going to get a lot of these extra parts. Uh, I still don't know if I want to get them from Steve or the junkyard, but we will find out. I suppose you're going to probably find out around the same time as I find out, even though I'm the one who's doing the recording. I just don't know. Okay, let's grab this piece here, and then there should be a number of ones on the inside, indeed. Uh, but we have to go ahead and reload that dang thing. So, okay, we got this one, this one, and this one. Yeah, I would like to actually make a good list and um, uh, go ahead and go down to the junkyard and get a bunch of parts again. Uh, but, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, let's go ahead and add this leaf spring on uh, right here and right there. Fantastic. Uh, we might as well go ahead and add on the axle at this point since we have it already up there uh, with that. Okay, we're going to have to redo that. That's okay. Okay, there we go. Tighten it. Oh, okay, we're not fast enough. Okay, hold on. You got to be quick. And I'm not very quick here. Okay, let's try this again. Check mark. No, 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 no. We can do this. We can do it. I know we can. Okay. There it is. Okay, tight. Oh, there it is. See? That's all you have to do. Okay, there we go. Let's get this other four bolts. Uh, uno, dos, tres. Cuatro. Yeah, we're still missing one. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. And then we need a rear axle a rear hub rather uh, for this side so let's go ahead and get all four of those tight and there we go okay so this has it has everything i'm just kidding it's still missing a lot but it has everything we need it to have for now uh that's a front shock absorber for the big cars uh let's see if we could just stick this in right away we can there we go uh, let's see what else we got a transmission we could probably put on uh i think we're gonna need the transmission brace indeed uh, let's go ahead and grab the cross member that we saw in here we'll get that put on right away yeah and then we have two leaf springs and an axle that we could put on the bart uh, which is pretty awesome okay let's redo this again and there we go see See, it just takes a little bit of finessing. Uh, we don't even have to jack it up. It's fine. There we go. Let's scoot this over a little bit. It's making me uncomfortable. Okay, there we go. Uh, we need some carrier hubs, but we also need uh, axles and stuff. Uh, we're not going to be able to put that on until we jack it up. Let's go ahead and do the leaf springs for the BART now. And then we will get the axle put onto the BART after that. Just start on this side. Uh, one and two. This one's going to be on the inside. There we go. And there we go. OK, 
Okay, now we should be able to get the axle on. Not a problem. It looks like both these axles had a brake line and one hub. Quite interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and put this on. It's going to be fun. And check. Go ahead and get it tight. Okay, we got it. Uh, now we just got two more to tighten. There we go. And let's get this side. Uh, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. 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 What else do we got on the inside? Hold on. Let's see what else we got in here. Uh, we have a diff, which is great, uh, but we do need one of these hubs uh, for that axle. We might actually have a hub out here. We definitely do. Uh, that's okay, though. We're going to grab this one. Stick it in. And one, two, three. Nope. You can do it. You can do it. I know you can. Come on. Get in there. Three and four. Fantastic. Okay, we might as well put the dang uh, steering columns in. Uh, right? Yeah. Let's get in the car. One, two, and three. Fantastic. And then the Jesse and the Bart share the same exact... Oh, no, this is a freaking uh, Chad. Oh, interesting. That one said Jesse and Bart. Oh, they look the same. Okay, let's get this one tight. Uh, one, two, and tres. Okay, fantastic. Okay, any more steering columns? No, but here is a Jesse Chad Bart brake cylinder. So we're going to go ahead and throw it on the Jesse. Right? Yes. One and two. Okay, what else do we got back here? A bunch of stuff. Uh, well, we have a lot of brake pedals, so let's go ahead and put all these on. Okay, we're going to have to add it. There we go. There we go. Uh, one and two. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and open up this door and grab the next one. Climb on inside and... There she is. Okay. We're going to have to kneel down for this one. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, let's take a look. We should have some more. Here's a steering arm for a Jesse Chad Bart. Uh, that one actually has a steering arm. Let's look at this one. Oh yeah, this doesn't have a cross member, so just gonna have to leave this to the side for now. No problem. Okay, what else do we got? We got some hubs, but we don't have any axles. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We do have a strut which I think we can add it to here. Possibly not. Okay, no worries. Let's just get it put up front here. Uh, we still need to put on that axe or that what you call. Oh yeah, look, we could put this on, I think. This is for all three cars. Uh, we don't have the motor on yet, but that's okay. I know we took a bunch of those off. So there's that one. There's that one. Let's see if we could find that motor. There she is. And... Uh, there she goes. Uh, one, two, okay, and three. Got an ankle itch. There we go. Okay, what else do we got? Uh, there's another motor and a whole steering uh, system. But we could put this on for now. But we do need cross members, um, which we don't have. Okay, here's another steering thing. Let's go ahead and put this one on to this Chad. There we go. Not a steering, it's a freaking wiper motor. I don't know if I've been calling it steering this whole time or not, but I meant wiper motor. Okay, let's go ahead and tighten this up. There's one and the other one way back there. Fantastic. Okay, this goes to front, uh, what is it called? Front, left, lower, Chad, Jesse, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's go ahead and just put it onto this one since we already have the upper control arm. Um, I don't think this one tightens up, right? It's just kind of loosey-goosey. Oh, no, it tightens up down there. Okay. Uh, we need a front right uh, carrier hub, though. What does this one go to? Front right. Beautiful. Slap this on. Uh, we need a front left. I'm an idiot. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. We could probably put this motor on. Let's see if we got it on the Jesse. We do. We're going to have to sleep, apparently. Uh, do we have the motor? Nope, we don't on this one. Okay. So we'll go ahead and tighten this up. One and two. Uh, we're just going to sleep real quick to get some better lighting. Oh my god, it's super bright. Beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and get this. 
And what else do we got back here? What else do we have back here? We have a rear shock absorber. Uh, we could put that on, I suppose. Not, maybe? Let's see, what does this go to? Chad Jesse Bart shock absorber rear. Yeah, we should be able to put this on back here. Uh, where does it go? There. Oh, wrong side. That's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get that tight down at the bottom. Beautiful. Freaking beautiful. Okay, what else do we got? What else do we got? We got all kinds of stuff here. That's a front right. We need a front left. Uh, this is also a front right carrier hub. Uh, which we don't have any other things there for. Uh, here's another uh, brake pedal and such. Here's some tie rods. I don't think we're going to be able to really put those on yet. Uh, let's just go ahead and put these pedals on. There we go. Let's see what else we got on the inside here. Uh, we do have a diff. Uh, let's see. What do we got? We got a front right and a front. Let's go ahead and grab these two. Uh, what do we got for shocks? We have a front shock, a front shock, front, and a front. Okay. And these are strut rods. Let's go ahead and take those out. Uh, this is a front left carrier. We do need that. Here's a front right. Um, which piece do we have, by the way? Front left, cub, front right, lower control arm, and then the upper is not dependent. So we could grab this one as well. Okay, and uh, let's kind of see where we're at with all these. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and get this out of the way, of course. Uh, let's see with these two here. I think it goes in here. Yep, there we go. We can go ahead and get that tightened. Let's put the upper one on now. Or not. What car does this go to? Upper control arm up front. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm gonna say there and there. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and pull out. Well, I guess we could put now we have shock absorbers. Let's get the uh, carrier hubs uh, front left and front right. We're gonna put this on right away. There we go. Tight and tight. There we go. We could actually put on a tie rod now if we chose to do so. Uh, but we're going to put this one on first. There we go. And there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and grab those two tie rods. Uh, I know we have them. Um, we need a shock absorber for this side, so we might as well put that on. Tight, tight. Let's go ahead and grab... Well, these are two more strut rods. Uh, but let's get the tie rods out and slap these on. Uh, one. And, okay, easy. Two. And then do the same for the other side. Um, there she is. One. And two. Now, I don't know where these ones go. What is this called? It's just called a strut rod. Okay, it does go right here. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. I don't know if this one bolts on. It does. Okay, fantastic. What about this other side? This side already has one. Okay, so we actually have three good strut rods, but we don't have enough uh, cross members. Okay, okay. So this still needs a front hub. What about this one? This one has the hub. I think I saw a hub hub back here. There she is. Indeed. Let's get that put on. Right. Now, I think we need two rotors, right? Uh, yeah, two rotors. Uh, we do have those back here. Is this for a front? It's a front right. Well, that's got the whole carrier hub on it. It's a front disc brake and a front. Okay, so those two should work. Uh, let's go ahead and drop them. One and two. Uh, we still have a bunch of shocks in there. So let's get this put on. And then this one as well. We're going to have to grab the screwdriver, though. Uh, let's see. Did we put it back? Of course not. There she is, though. Yeah, let's tighten up those rotors. Uh, possibly. There we go. And this one. Uh, there we go. Fantastic. Let's get a wrench back in hand. Slap on the transmission brace, which is right here. Scroll down, indeed. Okay, let's get that on. We got one, two, three, four. Then we could add the transmission itself. And there we go. Beautiful. Okay. 
So this here, we need one, two, three cross members. Uh, you know what? We could put this on. I forgot. Let's go grab the welder real quick. Uh, so we can do that. And then we have quite a few parts still to divvy out uh, between the cars there. Yeah, let's stop this on. Uh, one, we got a bunch of weld spots for this. One, two, three. And of course we have to run out. Okay, let's see. Uh, we'll have to find that. There we go. And let's just check the inside. Okay, it looks like everything is connected. Possibly. Indeed. Okay. So what do we have next? What do we have next? We have a bunch of carrier hubs, uh, regular hub hubs. We have some brake calipers, uh, some steering bits, some pedals. But we can't really touch that stuff until we actually get to the cross members. Uh, so give me a second. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of divvy these out to where they're supposed to go. And yeah, we'll kind of figure it out from there. We could probably put on the parking brakes now. Uh, so let's go ahead and kneel down and do that. There we go. One and two. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, we have front shocks. Uh, this one has both front shocks on it. Uh, this one has neither. So let's go ahead and drop that. Drop that. This one has neither as well, so we will drop that. Uh, steering arms. This one has one. This one does not. This one does not. And then there's brake lines, of course, uh, which we could just drop anywhere, I think. Let's see. Does it have brakes on it? It does. Okay, let's just put them both right here. And since we're here, we might as well put on this brake line. Indeed, there we go. And then we just need a front right caliper, which is right here. We'll put this onto the Jesse here. There we go. Get her tightened in. One, two, and then let's just put that brake line on right away. Uh, so then we'll have it, right? Right. Okay. There we go. Uh, bada bing, bada freaking boom. Okay, okay, these can be divvied out. Uh, we could put uh, two at this car. Uh, one at this one here. Okay. Okay, okay. What else do we got back here? Um, what is that, a starter? Well, we need to go into the garage and see what else we got going on in here. There is a differential, by the way. Let's go ahead and just put this on. Uh, we'll have to see what that gauge cluster goes to. Uh, but we should be able to attach this to the Jesse here. What is this, by the way? 4-2 locked. Sounds good to me. One, two, three. I don't know if we have any drive shafts. One, two, three. Okay. Anyway, one, two, I meant to say. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. We have another rear hub. This is a cluster for the Jesse. Yeah, I don't think we have this. So let's go ahead and put this on right away. Yep, right there she is. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay. Okay. What else do we got? What else do we got? Brake calipers. Uh, brake calipers. This is a front right hub. Which, this is front right. Front right. Okay, we got front rights out the galore here. Of course, no front lefts. That's fine, I suppose. Front right, front right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's dumb. Anyway. Let's see, is there anything else in here, or is that going to be it? Uh, we do have a bunch of brake calipers, front left, rear left, okay, and a front right, okay. Let's just put that like so. And then we have some hubs. Okay, so I think that's basically going to be it. Um, let's take a look back here. So we have a back rotor for this one. So we have a rear left, but, oh, we have a rear left and a rear right. Let's go ahead and grab that caliper right away. And yeah, I think this will probably be it. Uh, rear left. Yeah, let's just go ahead and put this on. And yeah, that'll be good. We'll check the prices real quick and see where we're at. And then the next one, we will just continue on. We're going to have to get um, the rest of the axles. So two more axles. And then we need to get three cross members right yeah three cross members 
two axles. Um, we only need two hubs. Anyway, we'll get a list together before the next one. And then uh, we'll go out and go shopping for all that. Uh, but let's kind of take a look and see where we're at with the parts that we have attached. Uh, a lot of this we can't get on yet until we get the um, suspension components, right? Uh, so let's just kind of look at them. This one probably didn't go up too much, uh, but it's up to 64. It was 74 before we started doing work on it. Uh, the Niv, we didn't do too much to it either. It's at 39.47. It was at uh, 43.21 or 40.48 apparently. So we're not quite up to there yet. What about this one though? 86.59. There we go, Jesse. All right, we're already making a profit on the Jesse. Um, 86.59, we bought it at four. Okay, let's check out the Bart here. The Bart is going for 65 and it was worth... 9,000 when we bought it. So not quite up to par yet. What about the good old green Chad? 6735. Uh, before we started taking all the bad parts, it was up to 11,000. So we definitely are losing money on that. Uh, this was at 25 before it is at 3000. So we are working our way up. We are working our way up. I think this one was worth so much before. I believe one of those engines used to be in it. But anyway, anyway, that's going to be it for this one, you guys. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. And we busted the car. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, we'll see you later.